DJ Wano. Yeah. Welcome to my last ever extra encounter in CLE. The CLE that kicks ass. Let's begin. For the fourth quarter here at the Team Sigata No, there are three major topics. First is the profits. Second is something that I want to do at the end. The synthesis. And the last one is the New Testament. So, I'll give you practical tips for the quarterly test. Number one practical tip is read the selections carefully. In your last quiz, a lot of you failed in the multiple choice because you did not read the selections carefully. You want to know your score? Sure. You passed. You passed. Um, Johan, you passed. Yeah, I know, sure. Oh. We still have our quiz today, so you can ask me about yes. the result. Okay, let's continue. Now, second practical tip is review your quizzes. Make sure, because you see most, some of the things in the quizzes, I mean, the way we ask questions would be the way we will be asking also in the quarterly test. You see, the quizzes are meant to build up your learning and your technique so that when you attack the quarterly test, it will be good. Let's begin. I'll discuss the prophets in five minutes. Come. Let's begin. Prophets are people who are called by God to give a particular message, a message of truth, truth and justice, of course. And what is the, what else is the important thing that we have to take note about prophets? They're called to predict, to proclaim. And sometimes such can lead to sacrifice. Take note that prophets play an important part in the Old Testament because they acted as leaders after kings. Why? Because the king suddenly became evil, the king suddenly became corrupt, and so the prophets are the people to, to, to whom the Israelites looked up to. And so, in order for us to understand the prophets, we also have to understand that they preach to a particular background or context. And the background or context by which a prophet spoke, we will try to divide this thing into three. We will have here B, A, A. Hey, mali. B, D, A. What's this? Before, during, after. Before? During, after, what? Exile. The exile. What is the importance of the exile? What is this exile about? We learned that the exile is that part in the, in the history of the Israelites where they had a crisis of faith. The people of the southern kingdom were sent to Babylon. They were held there as captives, as slaves, and they were. Um, they suddenly felt that they were abandoned by God. They doubted God. They had problems. And if I may say, they, they, their crisis, they had a faith crisis. And during these times, if I may say, the prophets were there to lead the Israel, the Israelites, just like the kings, to lead them back to God. And so, during, before the exile, there are two prevailing messages. Messages of warning and messages of hope. Oh, oh, oh. Basically, messages of warning are for people who are unfaithful to God. And these messages of warning are not necessarily messages of doom, that there is no more hope. Rather, this message, message of warning is meant for them to change their mind and to go back to God. Message of hope, because the people who are doing good were undergoing lots of um, persecution and suffering. Yet, God is there with them. And we learned, I think, two prophets here during this time, namely... Isaiah. Amos and Hosea. Amos's message basically is remember, thank you very much, my son. Why didn't you cover it? Check the yana out. Huh? The yana no covers. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, my son. You are really a trusted son. Okay? Don't try this at home unless you want your room to be like one beast room with rats. Teacher? Let's go. Amos basically, what was his message? His message was a message of justice. Why? The people in the southern kingdom are committing injustices to each other. 
Remember the Northern Kingdom is another kingdom. The Northern yes. King. What was the sin of the people in Northern Kingdom? It was uh, idolatry. Yeah. The people in the Southern Kingdom was. Yes. 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 And Amos was addressing the people in the Southern Kingdom, yes. calling them and reminding them of the injustices that they were doing. That if they truly are the chosen people of God, they should practice justice. They should preach, practice what they, they preach. Okay. In a message of Hosea, it made the message, the central message is basically faithfulness or fidelity. That God remains faithful even if we are unfaithful. Just like the experience of Hosea and to his wife, Gomer, who was a hard one. Very simple. Let's now go during the exile. Please don't mess up with my drink. Thank you. Let's now go during the exile. The prevailing message here during the exile is what? God is always with us. God is always with us. God is God's presence. Basically, it is meant the the, the message here is to strengthen faith. Faith. Because remember, they were having a faith crisis, and so the prophet's message is to strengthen the faith of the Israelites. That um, I think from my shepherds. Um, Yohan said, God is with us. God mean uns in German. Anyway, and who are the prophets that we learned here? Ezekiel. Namely, Ezekiel. Jeremiah uh, and Ezekiel. Remember in the message of Jeremiah, Jeremiah used metaphors to describe Israel's relationship with God. Them no better for Cindy, loin cloth, loin cloth, butter, and fees. I think that's kind of self-explanatory. We had a good discussion regarding that. Yes. Regarding Ezekiel, Ezekiel, let's go back to the name of Ezekiel, which is to strengthen God. Two sisters. God. Will strengthen. I know you will not remember Ezekiel because of the two sisters, but please don't. Because in the part of the test, I'm not asking you about the two sisters. Rather, what is the core message of Ezekiel? It is about God's presence. Even during exile, God is with them. Now remember, the temple was destroyed. The temple is the most important building in the people of the Israelites. Yet, the temple is not just the place where God is. God exists in our hearts. Very good. After the exile, the message here is basically our restoration. Restoration. Very good. And in the process of restoration, there are two types. We have the political and the spiritual. Political um, restoration focuses on the rebuilding of the temple, while the spiritual relation um, is their man's relationship with God. Okay? However, what did the Israelites focus on? They focus on the temple, the rebuilding, and the political restoration. But the focus should be on the spiritual restoration. Okay? Very important. And we got here the message of the prophet Isaiah. And we learned two important things about the prophet Isaiah. We heard his message of comfort. To comfort my people. That I am with them. And in doing so, there are people who suffer in order, in order for us to... In order for us to feel comfortable. Simply put, these two points out to the reality of the Israel that the Israelites are looking for. The M a Messiah. Messiah. That there will be a Savior who will save them very soon. The prophets. Yeah. <laughs> Five times. Yeah, something like that. Time. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. That's okay, because I had to drink my juice.